I've watched all of the Fast series so far. At first, I thought it was just a movie about cars, but it didn't seem to have much content. I wasn't that interested in cars, so I just passed it by. The first movie might have been, but the series kept coming out to see if it was successful at the box office. It seems like it's fun every time. That's about it. But as the movie got bigger and bigger, the action got a lot more intense, and when I watched the movie trailer, the car scenes were insane. It's probably the movie that took car action to the next level, pushing the limits of what you can do with a car. I think it's a little overdone, but you just have to stick to what you want to see. I watched the whole series later. I hadn't seen any of them in the theater yet, because I tried to see the last one in the theater, but the timing didn't work out. I think it's more enjoyable to see them in the theater, with all the action and bang bang sound. This time, I could have missed it because of the timing, but I saw it in the theater. I understand that they are going to end the series now, so I had to see it in the theater even more. As the series comes out, the content is somewhat predictable in some ways every time. There is nothing special. The action that goes beyond that is the fun of watching this movie. Above all, it's a movie about cars, so it's a movie about tension. It's a movie where speed is very important because it's a car, and it's a movie that shows that very well. However, this time around, Fast X Ride or Die was a little disappointing in that regard. Because while there are still speeding scenes, there's a lack of car speed competition scenes. There's a scene in Brazil, but it's only shown halfway through for different reasons. It's a purely car-based speed competition, and that's what the movie is all about, and that's what I've always looked forward to as the movie has progressed. But now it's more about the chase and the chased car scenes. And then there's the theme that runs through the series, which is family. It's always about family and protecting it to the end. You'll go to any lengths to save your family. Family here is not simple. It includes friends who have gone through so much that they would die with you. And having fun with those people is the most important value for Dominic Vin Diesel, and we see that early on in this movie. There's even a line in the movie that says you have a family if you have a family. The scene from the heist in Brazil is shown again, and the only difference is that Dante Jason Momoa, who was completely invisible at the time, is there. He vows revenge for the loss of his father to Dominic. He almost died himself, only to be brought back to life. That's what this installment is all about. Dante's revenge on Dominic's family. He doesn't just want to end their lives. He wants to make them suffer. Every single one of them. Every single one of them. Dante has spent a decade preparing for this, and the movie really takes off from there. I think it shows that this is what an action movie is supposed to be. There's never a dull moment and the action is non-stop, so it's a great way to pass the time. It's 2 hours and 20 minutes long, but it doesn't feel like it, because every character that's ever been in the movie is in it. I think it's because it's the last installment in the series, which is kind of a bummer sometimes. It's amazing because this is the 10th installment in the whole series, and you wouldn't think that there would be so many of them, because we're not going to see Brian O'Connor anymore. Who has made this such a global movie and a box office phenomenon? In the movie, they all do their own thing. We're all in different parts of the world, except at the beginning when we get together for a meal. And I thought the reason we did that was because we're all busy and we're all doing it on our own time, and I didn't realize why until the end of the movie. Originally, I knew it was the last in the series, and there was talk of Vin Diesel and Dwayne Johnson not being in it because they had a fight. And it wasn't until the end that I realized it was a show and not a movie and that it was leading up to the next installment. I think it's a two-parter, where they go through their own struggles in this one, and then they all meet up in the next one to defeat the final villain, Dante. Jason Momoa, who has been a stalwart in everything he's been in since the first Game of Thrones, plays a character who is completely unhinged. It's a role that pushes him to the extreme because he's been researching the Dominic family for ten years. Throughout the movie, Every time the Dominic family does something, it shows that they've anticipated and prepared for the next thing. There's so much to see, 
It's non-stop, and when I say non-stop, I mean there's no easy part, because there's four different teams, and they're all working in different places. So just showing them in action is enough to make you understand why we didn't finish it in one episode. It ends with everyone being in crisis at the end. But they say they're going to make a third movie instead of two.